Have you ever wondered what's in your docolax or exlax? I'm about to tell you. It's called methylcellulose. It's a chemical compound derived from cellulose. It has a hydrolytic white powder in pure form, which looks like this. And it dissolves in cold but not hot water, forming a clear solution or gel. It's solid under heat, and then as it gets cold again, it melts. So as you heat it up, it gets solid, and it forms kind of like a pancake or whatever kind of shape you want it to form. And it gets hard, almost like a hard gel kind of thing, and depending on how much you use as well. And then as it gets cool, it starts to melt. Actually, this guy in England at the restaurant, they make waffles. And what he does is he uses syrup along with methyl cellulose and he mixes it together. Those are the compounds involved, but that's the main ingredient. And they mix it together and what he does is he heats it up into a disc. It makes a disc and then he sits it on top of the waffle and he serves it, you know. So the waffle comes out with just like this, this brownish disc on top of it. And as it starts to melt, it melts into the syrup and it tastes like syrup. And the syrup's already there for you. And if you want, you, know, you can add more or whatever. Um, methylcellulose is also used as an emulsifier in food, such as bringing two liquids together, like oil and water. It's used in cosmetic products as well, and also as a treatment of constipation. It's a laxative. Actually, if you want, I could just take some of this and sprinkle it on some of my food, and then bam, clean out my system. It's, cellulose is not digestible and neither is methyl cellulose in its pure form. Basically, if you, if you eat it and, I mean, if you swallow it, it's going to stick to your esophagus and all of that. Like, just everything in here, it's going to stick to it. And it's going to form, like, like a goo substance that you're not going to be able to get rid of unless you just down like hot hot liquid like continuously otherwise it's just going to stay like that and it, I mean basically if you eat methyl cellulose it can kill you that's one of the like the pretty main ingredients here in a lot of food like it's in a whopper it's in ice cream it's in lean pockets it's in all kinds of food however that's the right measurements and everything. Usually, I have some set up right behind here. I'm going to show you how it works in a little bit. I use one gram of methylcellulose and 100 milliliters of water. Basically, you want to use like a 1 to 3 percent ratio, depending on what you're going to be doing or anything like that. And, you know, actually, it's like used in a lot of other things as well. It's used for in paint actually you know how sometimes when you paint and the paint starts to sag well this is used they usually just mix it in there and it doesn't allow the paint to sag because it gels up the paint so it doesn't leave the little like round things that you know you pop and then paint comes out it doesn't leave that it's also used as a lubricant a personal lubricant it's the main ingredient in KY jelly and methyl cellulose is also used for artificial tears and saliva. So if you ever have that kind of a problem, they'll give you a solution of methyl cellulose and water and then a few other things. And you just pop it in there or anything like that and it works for you. <clears throat> it's also used in nutrition capsules and used in nutrition supplements like that. It's edible. Um, however, sometimes, the, actually, there was actually a debate about it um, because someone got really sick off of it and what they did was they, they, they researched the chemical and everything, the, the supplement, and they found out that there was methyl cellulose in it and so they, re, they researched that. I don't know why they pointed that one out, but they researched that and they read how it can stick to it and everything. And so they brought a lawsuit against the company. And they lost because the company showed, obviously, that, you know, they were using the right measurements and everything. And it turns out that it wasn't the supplement that was to blame in the first place. It's also used in construction materials. It's put into mortar 
uh, dry mixes to improve the properties and like workability and water retention, viscosity, all that. And like also like to adhere to surfaces, it use, uses that. It's also used as glue. If you do a little bit of methyl cellulose with some water, like more methyl cellulose than water, it can be used as a mild glue that sticks to things, but also it can be washed away with more water. So that's why it's not the best. But if you're gonna put together, like let's say, an antique piece of anything you know like your grandma's old vase or something that you accidentally dropped on a drunken night home you can use that and put it all together and it'll look like new because not only does it bind it also covers it also cut like is a little covering as the crack so that you can't see the cracks anymore so it uses that it's also used in um, stem cell differentiation. Differentiation. It's you. It's the most common approaches to quantify multi-lineage or single-lineage committed hematopoietic progenitors. It's called culinary forming cells or culinary forming units. It's basically it's being used to make the cells stay together better. Then you know it's coming back as the glue and the binding and all that and what they're trying to use methyl cellulose for in the stem cells is they're trying to use it to bind together important cells to better make the stem cells work when they put them in you know, people that need them it's also used in advanced cookery as I already talked about it's they're playing with it at the College of Nottingham and they're trying to perfect it and everything but it's up and coming and I think we'll be seeing more of it soon but I think it's a pretty legit little thing going on because I mean basically you can do it with anything liquidly as long as it's not real high in oil content then you can use it and you can make any liquid pretty much get hard you know and then as it melts I mean you can't do butter though we tried butter the other day you can't do butter because it's too much fat too much oil fat content and it doesn't it doesn't go it doesn't stay hard it melts way too fast it's just it just kinda stayed like a blob now another use for methyl cellulose is in movies special effects you can use you can use it for you know if you want to make slime or sometimes they use it for blood and sometimes when you see the lava or anything like that sort of thing all you have to do is add a little food coloring and a little bit of it it's this it's this thing that you use to make it shiny it's another one it's called agar agar and it'll make it kind of shiny and that's what they use they use that to make it look like really lot to make it look like lava and all that and yeah like in zombie movies like uh, Zombieland as a matter of fact uh, when you see like for example the very first scene it's the zombie running after the fatty and he knocks him down and he starts eating him and everything and that, all that that you see, all the blood and all the blood that you see splurting throughout, that's actually a methocellulose mixture. Bet you didn't know that. <laughs> and it was also used in Ghostbusters for the slime that the ghostly people would spray at the Ghostbusters. It's a pretty important compound, but you do have to use it correctly. It's also E486 in food if you ever checked if you ever check the side of labels or cans or anything like that it's E461 and pretty much it there's a high viscosity and a low viscosity as well the high viscosity is between 132 and 148 is when it gets hard and the low viscosity is between 119 and 132 and basically I'm gonna show you how to use it real fast so we have 
This is it right here. Make some. Just put the burner over the top. Let it heat up for a few seconds. And you have to also be careful with this because if you get the wrong amount, it will bubble up and it'll shoot at you. And you don't want that because who wants hot things shooting at them? So you just go like this. Just add a little bit in there. And right now it's a gel form. And soon it'll be getting, it gets white because there's no food coloring to it. There's nothing like that. I just did it in its original state without adding anything to it. So it's getting white now. And if you'll know if you use the wrong measurements because it will only bubble. It won't get hard. It'll either just stay like that and bubble a lot or it will bubble dramatically and that's when we'll start spraying at you. So this is going. And look see, I'm making a bubble for you guys. If you break it up as well as it's cooking, it will bubble because you're disrupting its natural cooking state. So there's this. There it is. So basically all it is is that. I'm not sure if you can see it. But it's this right there. And what's going to happen is as it starts to cool down, it's going to start turning into liquid again. And as that happens, it will just like the syrup it will just melt and turn into water basically because the methyl cellulose gets cooked out part of the way and so it doesn't gel up like it is when it's just mixed with water so that is methyl cellulose and be careful because if you ever get this in its pure form be a nice little prank to pull on some people but you want to make sure not to accidentally put some in your own food or drink or even inhale it really because it could be bad too if you act if you inhale too much it could get into your sinus cavities and do the same exact thing as if you eat it if you get a good whiff of it that has some powder in it and that is methyl cellulose